I just woke up and you can spend the morning with me. Obviously, I'm in my van this morning. I woke up at 7 and read for an hour on my Kindle. Right now, I'm reading multiple books. This morning, I read two chapters of The Midwife of Auschwitz. And then about um, 35 minutes of The Alchemist. I just started The Alchemist this morning. And I noticed my battery was super low this morning, like 40%. I'm getting so stressed out with this freaking heater. So, and also on Vancouver Island, we're just getting overcast, no sun, and it's not charging my solar panel enough and it's just draining battery and I can't even use any of my power. So, I honestly might disconnect my battery I'm not entirely sure what I should do. Oh, I was using my drill this morning to try to fix my battery. So let's just put that away. I thought maybe if I hooked up the electrical cords from the heater to the charge controller instead of the battery, it would make a difference. I think it's a little bit too soon to tell. <laughs> It is about that time when we start to make some tea this morning. So I'm just gonna fill up my pot because I don't know where the heck my kettle went. I mean, this van is only so small. I don't know where it, where it is. I just got a bunch of new teas. We're gonna use my little fishy mug. And then I have my little tea basket. Put that right on top. And I went to one of my favorite tea spots. My favorite type of tea is rooibos. And I got tiramisu flavored. Um, so I'm actually pretty excited about that. Smells so good. Just needed it. I like listening to podcasts in the morning. Today I am listening to Girls Gotta Eat. With coming off the pill, but they suppress very well, but when you I feel so stressed with the state of my van, my heater not working, and now my battery's not charging. We're not holding charge enough. Uh, I feel like everything's just like so chaotic right now. I don't feel very centered and I hate that. But we do things that we can control. And right now we can control eating, drinking tea, and cleaning up a bit. So that's what we're going to do. Oh my god, how cute is that mug? Um, that's one of the ones that I got in Vietnam. I love it. It's so adorable. And it's hand-painted and handmade. I got it in a craft village. Let's make some breakfast. Okay, we got some eggs. We're going to make some eggs. And we have also some sourdough. So, let's get this pan on. First thing we're gonna do is do the eggs. We need to do two. Okay. We only have three eggs left, so I'm just gonna rip this carton in half so I don't have to keep the entire thing. Meg and I just did a hike at Elk Falls. It was nice. Recentered me a little bit. 
Oh my gosh! Whoa! Western red cedar, western hemlock, Douglas fir. Oh no, we're gonna have to go up. Wow. Wow, it smells so good. <laughs> oh god. And now we're gonna go to Starbucks for a bit and get a coffee and do some work. I also changed. I got my purple pants on. And now we can head to Starbucks. You know what guys, I feel like I thrive so much on sunlight and being outdoors and all of the above. And just right now, I'm just struggling so much with trying to get this heater in. And because of that, all of my things in my van don't have the specific spot that they usually have. So it's just a little bit uprooting almost. And it makes it a little bit harder to live this life. I'm definitely struggling right now, but I know it's only temporary. So that's kind of what is keeping me moving forward. Thank you so much for watching guys. I will talk to you next week with a little bit more upbeat content because I know I've been down a lot because of my heater, but that's it. Let's go do something fun next week.